Hello everyone, my name is Broderick Howard and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Thanksgiving. It's just a few days away and I'm so excited because I've got family coming over and we're going to have a great time. And I hope you all do too. And I know that us kids, we love to play outside. So here is your Thanksgiving forecast. So if you look at the Northwest, you can see that low pressure system moving to Texas. And this is going to give us um, some rain for Thanksgiving. So you can see this is the afternoon on Thanksgiving day. And there's a lot of rain on the eastern half of Texas. And some storms could also form around the coast. But then that is going to bring also maybe some snow to the higher elevations. And then it's going to move off to the northeast. And that's going to bring in warm air behind it. Currently in Texas, highs are in the 50s and lows are in the 30s and 40s. But after this storm moves through, behind it, warm air is going to get pulled into Texas and highs will be in the 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s down south, and lows will be in the 50s and 40s. There is a low end severe weather threat on Thanksgiving Day for Southeast Texas, more specifically Houston, almost to Corpus Christi. These storms are not expected to be super intense, but y'all probably are not gonna want to be outside for Thanksgiving. There's also a low end flash flooding threat throughout Southeast Texas, because heavy rain could be falling for a long time, and in some areas, we will be seeing some localized flash flooding, but nothing too extreme. Here's a closer view of what this rain could look like as it happens. So this is on the night before Thanksgiving, and the rain becomes more widespread and intensifies throughout the morning, and some storms with a low wind severe weather threat that we talked about will be possible the night of Thanksgiving. So this is during all y'all's Thanksgiving dinners. So eating outside is probably not gonna be an option in these areas. Y'all are gonna wanna move it inside. And then as these storms move off to the east, we can see there's gonna be some snow in the back end of that and the panhandle. And that's gonna keep moving through the panhandle and then dissipate as it moves off to the northeast. As y'all saw in the models, the backside of the storm is going to be accompanying some snow. And it's gonna be bringing the snow to the Texas panhandle. But there's still some uncertainty as to where the snow will be once it's all said and done. The GFS model shows the snow being more the eastern side of the panhandle and not as widespread, but the Euro model shows the snow being more to the west side of the panhandle and more widespread. They are both showing about 20 inches of snow in some places, which I don't know if the snow will be this extreme, but stay weather aware. With all this being said, here's a graph that I made that represents what I think this Thanksgiving will look like for all of Texas. Heavy rain will be possible in the green, some storms will be possible in the red, heavy snow will be possible in the dark blue, and some light snow will be possible in the light blue. Anyways, enough about the weather. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving with all your family, and I hope you eat a lot of turkey. Make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Again, thank you everyone for supporting me, and I will see y'all in the next video.